Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. Thank you for joining me. This is evening prayer for Monday, May the 14th. It's year two, it's week six in Easter, and it's week five in the Psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 77, Leviticus chapter 25, verse 35 to 55, and the Song of Mary. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. I cry aloud to you, O God. Cry aloud to you to hear me. Alleluia. Psalm 77. I cry aloud to you, O God. Cry aloud to you to hear me. In the day of my distress, I sought you. My hands were raised at night without ceasing and my soul refused to be consoled. I remembered you and I groaned. I pondered and my spirit fainted. You withheld sleep from my eyes. I was troubled and I could not speak. I thought of the days of long ago and remembered the years long past. At night I mused within my heart. I pondered and my spirit questioned. Will you reject us forever and no longer show favor to us? Has your love vanished forever? Has your promise come to an end? Do you forget to be gracious or in anger withhold your compassion? I said this is what causes my grief, that the way of the Most High has changed. I remember your deeds. I remember your wonders of old. I muse on all your works and ponder your mighty deeds. Your ways, O oh God, are holy. What God is great as our God? You are the God who works wonders. You showed your power among the peoples. Your strong arm redeemed your people, the children of Jacob and Leah and Rachel. The water saw you, O God. The water saw you and trembled. The depths were moved with terror. The skies poured down rain. The skies set forth their voice. Your arrows flashed to and fro, and your thunder rolled around the sky. Your fla flashes lighted up the world. The sea, the earth was moved and trembled. And when your way led through the sea, your path through the mighty waters, and no one saw your footprints, you guided your people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. I cry aloud to you, O God. Cry aloud to you to hear me. Alleluia. The lesson is from the book of Leviticus, chapter 25, beginning at verse 35. If any of your kin fall into difficulty and become dependent upon you, you shall support them. They shall live with you as though resident aliens. Do not take interest in advance or otherwise make a profit from them, but fear your God and let them live with you. You shall not lend them your money at interest taken in advance or provide them food at a profit. I am Yahweh, your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt to give you the land of Canaan to be your God. <clears throat> if any who are dependent on you become so impoverished that they sell themselves to you, you shall not make them serve as slaves. They shall remain with you as hired or bound laborers. They shall serve with you until the year of the Jubilee, and then they and their children with them shall be free from your authority. They shall go back to their own family and return to their ancestral property, for they are my servants, whom I brought out of the land of Egypt. They shall not be sold as slaves are sold. And you shall not rule over them with harshness, but fear your God. For the male and the female slaves whom you may have, it is from the nations around you that you may acquire male and female slaves. You may also acquire them from among the aliens residing with you and from their families that are with you. You have been born in your land and they may be your property. You may keep them as a possession for your children after you for them to inherit your property. These you may treat as slaves, but as for your fellow Israelites, no one shall rule over the other 
with harshness. If resident aliens among you prosper, and if any of your kin fall into difficulty with one of them, and sell themselves to an alien, or to a branch of an alien's family, <clears throat> after they have sold themselves, they shall have the right of redemption, and one of their brothers may redeem them, or their uncle or their uncle's son may redeem them, or any one of them, their family, who is of their own flesh, may redeem them or if they prosper, they may redeem themselves. They shall compute with the purchaser the total from the year when they sold themselves to the alien until the Jubilee year, and the price of the sale shall be applied to the number of years. The time they were with the owner shall be rated as the time of a hired laborer. If many years remain, they shall pay for their redemption in proportion to the purchase price. And a few years remain until the Jubilee year, they shall compute thusly. According to the years involved, they shall make payment for their redemption. As a laborer hired by the year, they shall be under the alien's authority, who shall not, however, rule with harshness over them in your sight. And if they have not been redeemed in any of these ways, they and their children with them shall go free in the Jubilee year. For to me, the people of Israel are servants, they are my servants, who I brought out of the land of Egypt, and I am Yahweh, your God. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions, that this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. That your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill. That we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses that there may be peace in Jerusalem, unity in the church, and peace in the whole world, that we may depart this life in faith and fear and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ, that we may be bound together by the Holy Spirit in the communion of Francis and Claire and all the saints in trusting one another and all of our lives to Christ and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Magnificat anima mea dominum. The Song of Mary. Alleluia, my soul proclaims your greatness, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For you have looked with favor on your lowly servant, and from this day all generations will call me blessed. You have done great things for me, holy is your name. You have mercy on those who fear you in every generation. You have shown the strength of your arm. You've scattered the proud in their conceit. You've cast down the mighty from their thrones, and you've lifted the lowly. You have filled the hungry with good things, and the rich you have sent away empty. You've come to the help of your servant Israel, for you have remembered your promise of mercy, the promise you made to our ancestors, to Abraham and Sarah and their children forever. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Magnificat anima mea dominum. Bless Yahweh my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah.